is exposed. I follow him to a hotel room. I have my homeboys in there, building. You in a hotel room with your homeboys and some boxers? How weird is that? My boyfriend is lying, cheating, dog. Does she like the bed on fire? Why, well, in it. <laughs> If he passes the lie detector test, I'm going to pass it. Are you serious? Right now. Thanks for coming and thanks for watching. One of the most important services my show provides is to expose the cheaters who lie about their relationships. So, let's start the exposing. Please welcome Felina to the show. Felina, how you doing, honey? I'm fine, Bill. How are you? Hi, Felina. Why are you here today? I'm here to confront my boyfriend that's been cheating on me. He says that he's not, but I know for a fact that he's cheating. I'm how getting, do you know that, though? I'm a getting woman... phone calls from females telling me that they're pregnant. We're going out to the mall, and females are trying to beat me up. For instance, we go to the mall, and this girl screams his name from the store. Antoine! Antoine! Antoine, Antoine and runs up to him and says, um... This is my boyfriend. We've been together for six months. And I'm like, well, you've been together for six months? We've been together for three years. Are you serious? So we get to fight, and security come and get us, tell us we have to go. We get to the car. He has the nerve to tell me, oh, don't worry about that. That's not no concern. I don't know her like that. He had never and met I'm her, like, don't know who it is. Yeah, all of a sudden, he don't know who it is. And another example, I follow him to the to a hotel room. He tells me he's going to the gym. And you two are living together. Yes, we live together. And he's together. going to go to the gym to work out. Yes, and I'm, I'm believing him because he's a muscular man. But at the end of the day, I follow him because my women intuition kicked in on me. And I go follow him. He ends up at a hotel room. Let me tell you the situation with this bitch. That doesn't mean anything. That <laughs> doesn't mean anything. Lot when you go knock on the door, he comes with his boxers on. Oh. But was any woman in there? He wouldn't open the door. He tells me to go to sit back in the car. So the detective I am, I go downstairs to the desk. And they give me the card, the receipt, and it's his best friend's name on the thing, saying that he paid for the room and he did all of this for him. So if you're going to the gym, how you end up at a hotel? Those are two different things. So, uh, but it, no woman was in the hotel room, right? It was, I know it was a woman in there. Who, who comes to the door with their boxes on? Don't you accuse each other of yeah, selling see, your bodies for money? You think your man is selling his body to these attractive women? Yes, he comes home with $300, and you know the excuse he gives me? No. He tells me... He went to help some old lady rake, rake her yard, and she gave him three hundred dollars. I said, "Well, can I go rake your yard?" He was raking leaves he was for three hundred. He was raking leaves. He came home with three hundred dollars. How do you come home with three hundred dollars from raking leaves? What else did he do besides rake her leaves? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he raked a couple of leaves. He's always coming home with money. He tries to come home with gifts, trying to please me, saying, "Oh, baby, I love you. We're gonna get married." And I'm like, "No, we're not. I have kids. There are kids involved." Doesn't in he accuse you of cheating? Yes, he accuses me. And you me. took a lie detector. Yes, I did. And I he took, took a lie detector. Detector says he accuses me of cheating. Are all you the selling time. your body for no, money? No, I'm not. I have children. I have little girls at that, so I, I value myself. I have daughters, so. Why would I do that? Does he accuse you of sleeping with some of his friends? Yes, he does. And I don't really know a lot of his friends. I know a couple. They come to the house, and nine times out of ten, he's not there. But I don't even let them in. Yeah. So how is they even coming in my house, and you're not there, and then you're accusing me, but you got females screaming at me in the mall? All right, so you two are sleeping in bed. Does he follow you to the bathroom at night? He follows me to the bathroom. What does he think you're doing? He goes and looks in the closet. He looks under the bed. He comes in the house and starts looking out the back door, saying that he's finding boxers that are strange. You're a man. You wear boxers. You throw them on the floor. <laughs> so those are your boxers. What are these accusations back and forth doing to your relationship? A lot, because like I said, there's children involved. My feelings are involved. This is three years. You I, love, I love, you love him, him with all my heart, and I do want this to work. But if you're cheating on me, how is this going to work? Isn't he a, like a, a father to your five kids? Yes, he is a father to my five children. He's a children. good man, right? He works. He, he is. He comes to work. A, lots, he makes a lot of money raking those leaves. He sure does make a lot of money raking leaves. All right, please welcome Felina's boyfriend, Antoine. Antoine, come on out. Right, man, words do a lie, yo. Yo, we lying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, what's wrong with you, daddy? What's wrong with you? You can't do that. Man, you can't do that. Antoine, why are you so angry about this situation? And both of you, especially you, have agreed to stay in your seat, right? Man. All right, now, why are you so angry? Let's do it. We're going to hit the reset button. Why are you so angry? I work every day. Every day I go to work and try to help out my kids. I knew this girl for three years. So while I'm at work, sometimes I lie and tell her I'm not at work. You know what I mean? 
I just pop up on them. A lot of saying? times you lie and tell me that you're not at work. And girls calling my phone telling me that they're pregnant? Come on, how did she even get my number? Girls following me at the I'm store? I'm doing this because she's cheating on me. I know she's cheating on me. How babe. do you know she's cheating on you? Because uh, my friends tell me that she does stuff while I'm at work. So your friends are telling you they're having sex with He's her? He's accusing yeah, me of cheating. Yeah, my friends. Like, why would I sleep with an 18-year-old boy? You just moved somebody in the house. She moved two men in the she house? The first day she get the apartment, I moved in when I said, yo, baby, let's get some time where we can spend some time together. We I moved to go. in because I needed the extra help because Mr. Go to Work's not really going to work. But what <laughs> for you? They want to help you. more than you. What they th can at least take the trash out. You're not even home what or you're stuck in your cell phone. What the hell is trash and who's money? Who's stuck in their cell phone all day? But who who's provides calling for you at 2 or 3 in the morning? I provide, I provide for, you. for me. She what happened provide. in the hotel? It's kind of a little suspicious when a man goes to a hotel and checks in. Would you agree, Lawrence, on paper? Yeah, I had my homeboys oh. in there, Bill. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have some woman in the all? hotel room with your homeboys and some boxers? How weird is that? <laughs> How weird is that? Nah, nah, nah. I was in my box because we just woke up. You know what I'm saying? So if you're it, in a hotel room with dudes and y'all just woke up and you're in your boxers. No, so y'all got. Nah, we're. we're nah, That's we a little were, suspicious, I mean, Antoine. Nah, just nah, a little. Nah, nah. Me and my boy. Did you ever chilling. cheat on her? Yes. Nah. Nah, nah, you nah, never nah. cheat. Nah, never yes. did. Words you, you know you cheat did. on me. Nah, I mean, you're gonna look me. Babies. You're gonna tell me. I'm the hearing uh, rumors that you're sleeping to... with family members. Are you, know you serious? I'm following no, sure. you, and you telling me you're going so to you the gym, and you my, end up. You ain't sleeping with my man. No, I'm not. Words you lying? What man you talking about? Lie detector test. So it's gonna come out today. Nah, it's all gonna come out. Yeah, it's gonna come out. No, I'm saying. Does she wear seductive clothes? If she fell, I'm not going home with it. No, I'm saying. You're done with this. Yeah, if she fell, I'm done. What if you're the cheater and she's not? I mean. Hotel room, boxer shorts with the homeboys. I don't know about that. Girls screaming across the store. Girls yeah. calling saying they're pregnant. Tell me, Antoine, how'd she get my phone number, Antoine? How'd she get your phone how number? How'd she get my phone number? So what? Well, I find lingerie. You know what I mean? I bet. I'm one day, one day I come lingerie. home, I find lingerie. And I say, yo, where you get this from? You know what I'm saying? And that's not on that time. I found the guy boxes. You're and a guy. You put told, your boxes on the told floor. Me, she told me, she told me it, were, it was a bigger size. She told me it was come her on. uncles. You know what I'm saying? Her yeah, uncles right. boxers yeah. on her floor. At times, I'm laying in the bed and I fake sleep sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I what like, about the text message when we were laying in the bed? But, something, something, something. Let's get together so I can do something. something. What, what's up with that? And then when I tell you to go back to the message, you tell me, oh, don't worry about that. There ain't no message there. That's Facebook, boo boo. I know the difference between a Facebook box and a message box. I what was about, born yesterday. What about raking the leaves for $300? I want that game. Don't y'all want that game? Did, did you rake this old woman's leaves for $300? Yeah, And yeah, you did yeah. nothing else. <laughs> well, what kind of yard was this for $300? Yeah. Can I go over there and get a job? But I'm supporting you, though. So why worry about you're it? You're not even there to support me. I but what, what them dudes you're in the house. You don't call me beautiful, beautiful no more. They moved out because of your crazy self. Yeah, so you ain't crazy asking me who I'm texting and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm crazy. I've done stuff to you, and I have. I admit that. So what about... What have you dude. done to him? I, I pulled a knife on him. I sure did, because he came home acting stupid. And I pulled a weapon on him because I thought he was going to put his hands on me. So I defended myself. Look at him and look at me. He's a big man. He's a strong man. I have, I have kids. I'm are you going to pass a lie detector? I surely am. Are you going to pass a lie detector? No. Yeah, yeah. I like to hear no. a definitive yes when I ask that question. <laughs> all right. Have you, do you suspect men are sneaking out of her back door? Yeah, all the time. I was about to say that. You know what I'm saying? One time I told her I was at work. So I pull up. I go in the house. I say, yo, who you on the phone with? And then she, the look on her face, like, yo, why you ain't at work? And then I hear the back door shut. She, she said, I'm on the phone with my mom. Just I was like, like, yo, <laughs> how the hell are you on the phone with your mom's and you hang up real quick? How do you I hang, hang up, up real you hang quick? Up the phone but, but you quick. can have text messages and phone calls at 2 o'clock in the morning and get out of my bed and go step outside and answer these phone calls and then say, oh, yeah, I'm going to the hospital because such and such happened. So tell them about you sneaking in and out the bed at night. What you doing then? I go to the bathroom. You're just crazy. I go to the bathroom. <laughs> Come on. Antoine's sister is up next, and better look out, Felina. His sister's here. Stay right there. More drama. More suspicion. Today's about cheating and lie detector test results. Both of my guests here say they're going to pass the lie detector, but there's a person with a different perspective. Please welcome Antoine's sister, Gloria, to the show. Gloria, come on out. You're a liar. 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 You're a li
Hey, 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 h
What about the woman in the mall? The woman in the mall was my people. That was my cousin. No? It was your cousin. Was your cousin. She, she was said she had told me y'all been dating for six months. So tell another lie. Were you dating your cousin for six months? To, exactly. I'm sitting there about to fight this girl. Security had to come and get me. I didn't fight her because I got kids at home to think about. I don't have time you got for kids that. Kids at home to think about. What about when I'm at work? What, what the guys sneaking in? Don't the kids don't see that? Don't the guys sneaking in and out of nothing? Got, well, yes, don't you do. think if guys yes, are sneaking in and out, my kids is gonna tell you? They be at school. Like they be at school. I still got school. two babies sitting at home. Man, crazy. I ain't gonna say no. You can tell them anything. You know what I'm saying? Line detector test results coming up. Plus another couple in fiery feud. Stay right there. Extreme measures. Did she like the bed on fire? Oh man. Well, what'd she do? Why, why I'm in it. You're in the bed. She let, I she wanted him out. She, she let, I wanted him out. She wouldn't get out my she bed. Over cheating suspicions. I found yeah. texting his phone to her. I love you. Can I come to see you? Come to the door. Uh. Don't miss the truth. Have you had any sexual relations with any other woman? You said no. That was... If you love watching from your couch, wait until you see us live. For your free tickets to a taping in New York City, go to our website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8... You know, some couples have fiery feuds, and some other have really fiery feuds, and today, guess what? We have both. Please welcome Karen to the show. Karen, how you doing? I'm good. Hi, Bill. How Hi, Karen. Why are you here today? Well, I'm here today because I think my boyfriend is a lion cheating dog. No question about it. No question but about it. But what evidence do you have? Well, first of all, Bill, we've been dating for almost two years now, and I probably should have took the red flag from the beginning, but I didn't. And, but, however, like, one month after we met, like, he tries to get on with my cousin, right? One Your month, cousin, a family my member. family member, yes, sir. He's hitting on a family member. Family member. Okay, first of all, she, like, stays in my house because she missed her ride home or whatever, and then he, like, slips off to his friends, you know? Then, like, 2 in the morning, she's out of nowhere. Oh, I need to go to the store and get cigarettes, and he still wasn't home yet, so something was telling me, like, something's up, you know? Something ain't right, so I went looking for her, couldn't find her, so I went to go look for him. And sure enough, what did I see, Bill? Hmm, he comes to the window, looks out, Oh, my God. So he, he did come to the door, though, and let me in. But guess what? He's sweating. Well, what did your cousin say about this? Oh, well, it was, well, I'm getting ready to go back to your house. I just uh, walked down this way because there were cigarettes here and, you know. Talk, so about, just... talk about finding the condoms in the wall. Oh, my Lord, Bill. Like, okay, there's this neighbor in the neighborhood that, uh, well, that's just condoms been a problem throughout the relationship because, you know, after we decided we were going to be together, that we no longer needed those. But throughout, we've con I keep constantly finding them in his wallet, in his pants. You don't use condoms. No, we don't. So what does he say when you, when he, when you find condoms? Oh, my God. The first time, Bill, he tells me, oh, I'm holding on to them for my friends and this kind of stuff to have them on deck well, I've for I've heard them. that before. Uh, I've heard that before. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. And then one day he gave me this serious scenario about a, a just-in-case just type in case. of thing. Something like, arises. just-in-case due to my past. I just in case, and I'm still steady saying to him, like, we're not using them. Like, why are you doing this, you know? And he comes up because I'm holding them for friends. I'm holding them for friends. What yeah. about uh, he suggested group sex oh, with co-workers? <laughs> yeah, I, had a, I like to help people. So a co-worker friend of mine needed somewhere to stay for a little while. So I let her come stay, and after she was there about a month, here he comes out of nowhere. Hey, I don't get mad at me, but I just wanted to ask you, what do you think about me, you, and her, you know, getting down yeah. together? Like, you know, for more money type stuff. I'm, I'm just... Group sex with it's a co-worker. It's just appalling, and this is a person I'm supposed to be in a relationship with. Like, so, and yeah, sure, I think he's doing things. Didn't you yeah. find a woman's sweater, and what'd you do with oh it? Oh, my God. Yes, I burned it. You burned it? I tore it up. I burned it. Wasn't it wasn't your yes, sweater. You're was sure. was not mine. was not mine. I seen the neighbor wearing it, the girl, because I liked it because of the way it was designed. And I thought, oh, I like that. But then, sure enough, it was in my house. I found it in my baby's walker. My and grandbaby's so, walking. Well, what did he say when you found a neighbor woman's sweater in your home? Oh, that, that it was not hers. It wasn't hers. All right. Now, what do you want to see happen today? Because he took a lie detector test. Well, okay, Bill. With all the stuff that's going on, you know, I'm hoping that he passes his test. But, however, if he does pass it, I still want to address the issues of the disrespectful things with the female friends and the texts in the phone. The just the whole nine yards. It's a lot of issues. Very much so. From issues. what I heard, if he passes the lie detector test, I'm going to pass out. But it's always possible. <laughs> yeah, Please welcome out too, Bill. Karen's boyfriend, Sonny, to the show. Sonny, come on out. <laughs> Have a seat, Sonny. Hi. Hey, man. Listen. It sounds like you've been caught red-handed. I mean, I, I put myself in, in awkward positions, but... 
But uh, I, I haven't cheated on her since I've been with her. I've been faithful with her. You know what I mean? Uh, and on, didn't you pray to God to have a woman like this? Yeah, yeah. I God pray, Almighty I pray, I pray. has blessed this relationship. I, I, I prayed because, you know, my life was going a different way, so I asked the Lord to bring a woman to my life. The Lord. Yeah. So right. God sent her to you. Yeah, yeah. And that's why you won't cheat well, on her. Well, right. I mean, well, he was the next thing. She was the next thing that that's came and happened. So I, I've, been, I've, been, I've been working with her, yeah. going, going through all this, all this abuse that I take from her. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. You take abuse from her. Yeah, right. Yes, I well, do. Yeah, well, hey. Yes, I do. No. Well, let's go over the issues. Why do you have condoms in your pants, in your wallet? Why do you do that? Well, well first of all, I, I had them in my wallet for a long time. I don't even carry no wallet, so I don't care. So I don't care. They just stuck this old stuff. I don't care. I don't carry them around. You don't like carry in, in my bag, in That's my bag, I had them in there for my, for my dudes who I be with. So you just hand them out to your friends in case yeah, they right. need them. They I can mean, buy yeah, them at the yeah, store. Yeah. Or, or How about the them, store? They sell, sell them. them. You yeah. know what I mean? In the streets, I sell them. What about the you know neighbor's I mean? sweater that was in your house that she set yeah, on I, fire? I, I, I told her about that. I told her I came home from jail. Somebody gave me that in jail. That's right. right. But she don't believe me because she never she, saw Someone it. gave she me a woman's sweater in jail? She never had that shirt on again. Never, ever again. Did she ever have it on because I burned it? Okay, well, okay, well, well. Are you throwing out about every week she throws you out of the house? Man, look, man, it's so bad. It's so bad, man. I I live in suitcases. Yeah. I, I keep my stuff in suitcases. I always it's true. pack it's because, true. She, because she flipped the script on me every no, other day. No, it's because he always gets caught up once get every out. other week be because getting done doing something. Does I she like the bed Texas? on fire? Oh, man. Well, what'd she do? Why, why I'm in it. You're in the bed. She let, I she wanted him out. She, she let, I wanted him out. She wouldn't get out my she bed. She let the bed on fire. She let the Go bed get in her bed. So, so I lay in. Go get in her bed. Okay, let it burn. Let it burn. The so fire. you're in bed. It, it he won't get out till you. He got right, light and fluid right, in a match. She set the bed on. It's a burning bed. Because I find texts in his phone to her, I love you. Can I come to see you? Come to the door. Wow, why? So I'm glad he left the bed when you bed. caught it on fire. Okay. He got out of the bed. Get about my bed. Oh, that's true. I'm sorry. But the bottom line is, whatever, you're guilty. With any female. You never you had sex out one time outside never. of the relationship. Never. I never. never. Had Did you sleep, sleep with a neighbor? Sleep with a cousin? No. No. Sleep with a co-worker? No. no. Since, I've been, since I've been made a commitment to her, I've never The Lord been. sent her to you. I've never what? been to another with an... What? Physical with another female. Never. Man, who knows what you do? But okay. well, why are you going through okay. all that? That's what you Why you disrespect your That's relationship you for a friend? I'm not disrespecting Is your friend nothing. worth your relationship? I've been knowing my friend Is your friend going to put you somewhere to live? I've been knowing my friend long so as I've been knowing you. So what? They won't so, let you so, come so, stay so there. Loyalty, loyalty don't mean nothing loyalty to you. Loyalty to who? To her. You I've been knowing her. 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 I've been knowing have uh, multiple well, sex partners. Right. You ever have multiple sex? I mean, oh, I, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I bring that to work. Yeah. Did God I, tell I, you to do I, that I, too? I, I yeah. That Did God? After no, he got blessed no, with such no, a good woman, no, no, he, he after he got blessed with such look, a good look, woman, look, I, I, I brought that back. to her. I might have been wrong we, for that. Might have been wrong. I might have been wrong for that. Right, but but I kept it. I kept it 100. You kept it 100. I kept it 100. You admit it. You admit it. You wanted it. Well, he asked me. But, but I didn't do it. Did you I ask didn't do her? Did you I ask me? That didn't do it. But you didn't do it because she said no. She said no. no. I mean, I mean, I mean he comes at me like I don't want you to be mad at me. What, what do you think was going to happen? Regardless of what she said, I brought it to her attention. You brought it to her attention. I brought it to her attention. So it was an offer. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been physical with any female since I've been with her. I don't believe that. I don't. And you're going to pass a lot of it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Because then Bill gets this. Wait a minute. The one night he has a job that he wants to go perform at midnight out of the blue. We're finna go to bed, and then all of a sudden he goes, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot I got to go do something. So I got to go check out this uh, yard or something I got to go do. And I'm like, tonight, right now? It, it bedtime? Midnight. Yeah. So he comes in the room and goes in his drawer, gets stuff out of his drawer. And I didn't pay attention, but I'm like, well, I'm going to go with you because it's late night, this summer, nice walk, right? Oh, no. I couldn't go with him, right? But anyway, I walked in so far. Then about 40 minutes later, me and the neighbor, we're just out browsing around. All of a sudden, who do we see? Sonny. Running up in this female's house with his bike. I wish I could just show you. Can I show, show you? Me, show oh, me. he's like this. Because he saw us coming. I know he did. He's like, oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And then he drops the bike running up in her house. Is that true, Sonny? Then I guess yeah, he shut it's the true. door. My it's hand true. was on the knob like this. And what I were you doing in the females at it's 2 in the morning? Friend. It's the same friend who Whatever. Away at 2 in the morning. 2 in the morning. And you got a woman at home. And you think that's okay? I think Guess what? And then he had a bag with nothing but battery charger. Yeah! Think what you want. you ain't doing what you want. we're here today to find out. Karen's daughter is next. She's going to hit the stage. Stay right there. You know you a dog. You know you don't deserve my mom. You need to go find somebody who will let you treat them that way. This cheating drama is about to get loud. If you respect your woman, then that friend should be out the window. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
And scandalous. Does he check out your booty? Oh, wow. Yes. I have caught him. What does he do? I have caught him. I walked in and I do what I and all the results you've been waiting for. That was a lie, too. Is your ex trying to ruin your life? If you want to get him or her out of your life for good, maybe we can help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text guest at 95902. Of course, message and data rates may apply. Let's put the cheese on the cracker. What's your wish for your child? To protect her from what I can protect her from. That he never has troubles. To have a head start with finances. Rather than wishing on a penny, why not start their financial future with the Gerber Life Grow Up Plan? This is something that's going to benefit him when he's 18. $10,000 of insurance protection automatically doubles to $20,000. Just stick pennies in a change jar, stick them in a policy. Call 1-800-417-6880 for a grow-up plan. That's 1-800-417-6880 or visit growup.com. Attention, this is an important message for anyone who had an IVC filter placed to prevent blood clots from traveling to their heart or lungs. Did your IVC filter move, break, or cause organ damage? The FDA warns that IVC filters may cause serious complications, such as heart or lung damage, internal bleeding, even death. Our network of experienced attorneys is ready to fight for you. You pay no fees unless your case is settled. Don't fight this alone. Please call 800-378-8409. Can Bosley regrow your hair? This is my own growing hair that I can comb, cut, style, do whatever I want with. The results I have achieved have been exceptional. This is my real hair. I can do with it whatever I want. This is mine. Bosley gave me my hair back. I cut this hair. I wash this hair. I mess this hair up if I want to mess this hair up. I can't explain to you the way that it made me feel to be able to wear my hair down, go out on a date, and have confidence again. Can Bosley regrow your hair? This is my hair. This is my hair. Call or go online for your free no-obligation self-evaluation kit. Plus, call in the next six minutes, and we'll even send you this $250 gift certificate. The information is free, so choose to grow back your own real hair. Choose Bosley. Call now. If you've been hurt on the job, fight for all the work comp benefits you deserve. At Handler, Henning, and Rosenberg, we will fight to get you weekly workers' compensation checks and medical treatment with a doctor of your choice. Heard on the job? You may be entitled to a lump sum settlement. Call Handler, Henning, and Rosenberg right now for help with your work comp claim. Heard on the job? Get the power of Handler, Henning, and Rosenberg. Call 1-800-LAW-4000. One call does it all. When I got hurt in a car accident, I expected the insurance company to be on my side. Turns out they were only looking out for themselves. That's when I decided to call Freeburn and Hamilton. In my experience, insurance companies try to avoid paying injured people the money they deserve over 90% of the time. Call us right now. I called the Sevens and Freeburn and Hamilton settled my case for $215,000. Call the winning number. Call the Sevens. It's just that easy. Don't delay. Call the Sevens today. I'm very pissed off. She deserved way better than that. He's a dog. He knows he's a dog. He's a cheater. How many more times do you have to catch him doing things? Today's about relationships on the brink. Karen, is it possible you're a bit paranoid and that you see things yes. that aren't there and you feel things that don't exist and you're making all this up? Is that right? Is that what's going on, Sonny? No, no, that's, no, what, that's what I feel. Uh, she might not I'm be not making, making it up. up because but everything, she, but she ain't if I'm paranoid, it's because of the things I've caught him doing. You know, she I have proof. proof. I've proof. seen She's never texts. I find <laughs> all the above. <laughs> Yeah. Two o'clock in the morning, I going to a woman's house. I catch him going in other women's houses, and he thinks that's acceptable at 2.30 And he's sweating with these other women. Oh, yeah. Bill. But I'm tripping. You're I'm tripping. paranoid. Please welcome Karen's daughter, Demetria, to the show. Demetria, come on out. <laughs> what do you think about him? You know you a dog. 
you know you don't deserve my mom. You need to go I'm find somebody who will let you treat them Ruth, that way. Look and you him. deserve Ignor, better. Ignor. I don't know why you keep accepting the things that he's doing to you. You got enough proof. Well, well, How much well, more do you need I don't, you decide I just to leave? want the, this test today to sh tell me the truth one way or the other. Him. Yes, ma'am. No, what what without the test, you, you've already you. had enough proof to What have you seen with your own eyes? What have you seen? Oh, my God. Not rumors, not allegations, not hearsay. Your own eyes. I've seen for myself. What have you seen? I've seen for myself. I've seen the way he interacts with this girl. And when he comes when she comes and? around to our house, or to my mom's house, and? it's always, you know, it, it, it just, yeah, she's it just looks crazy. She's I can't, it's unexplainable. She's I can't explain she's it. A, she's a friend of but friend if, you, if you respect your woman, then that friend should be out the window. Thank you. Period. Thank if you. you oh, thank you. Oh, you don't put no friend no, before no, somebody no, who's no, laying no, 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 You don't do that. Okay, you can't do that. I've been on her for six years. I've been on her for six years. She won't let you go stay with her when you get to that. Does he check out your booty? Oh, oh wow, yes. yes. I have what does him. he do like this? I have caught him. I walked in and I do wear I mean, sexy clothes. I look at it. I look at all females. Oh, I look at all females. I mean, but I don't touch him. I don't touch him. I don't touch him. I don't come at him like that. I got one for you. Two weeks ago, we were over his daughter's house. Hold on, Demetri. Hold it. Two weeks ago, we just took a flashback. Two weeks ago, we're over his daughter's house. And she's showing him pictures in her cell phone. But well, we run across, yeah, we run across Stop. this one photo, and it's like, oh my God, that looks like some girl I used to do it to. Oh. And I'm like, in my face, though? Did no, you like not realize no, that I was sitting no, right respect. here? How about every day? What does your mom do? Your mom calls you crying. Yeah, she sick. calls me and she tells me all about all their problems, and I'm just tired of hearing about it because I feel like she I deserves that. better. And for that. her to be my mother, she should set a better example. Doesn't she pick bad men all the time? Someone. She's always picking bad I probably bad. have. You pick bad dudes? I probably have, have you and I'm that? tired of it. That's why we're here today, because I want to stop that same old pattern, you know, and go forward with my life. I'm, I deserve to be happy, and I deserve to be with somebody who wants to exactly. be with me, or else I do want to be with you. 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 It should be a stressful I relationship. I but he won't go nowhere. Every time he got busted, that's why the bed was on fire. I don't cheat on her. And she should have. And she should have. She, she should have. He wouldn't get out of bed, so she put it on fire. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, she Maybe you need to get your butt up and walk out. He, I said, bet he did that. He got up, didn't well, he? Well, yeah, it burned so far, yeah. It burned so far, got yeah. up. I, I can't say that he's an all-the-way bad person, but he don't deserve right. to be with my mom. What happens if he passes a lie detector test? If he passes, they still don't need to be And together. these allegations they are false against this good, truthful man. He's simply looking for love. The damage that's been done to exactly. try to build back on that. Exactly. The trust is gone. Too much you disrespect. can't build it back up. Too much disrespect. And you see how he sits here, so what? So what? Right, so therefore you don't care nothing about me. I do, man, I'm but you sorry. you don't care about me. You don't okay, care. You don't care about me. You don't care what I'm going serious? through. You don't know what you don't know what I'm going through. I'm there for you all the time, every all day. The time. For all everything all that you've been like brought this, to this not, table not, not like this, from day though, one. Yeah. This is all part of it. Man, you, what don't, do you, mean? you don't trust me. Why? No. Come I'm on. Gonna trust you either. Trust you. Why? Why? I don't do nothing for you. You got sneaky ways. Okay, so you don't think looking in your phone. Oh well, I was looking and I found it. I felt it. I looked and I found it. I love you. Can I come? I tell, see you. I tell a lot Come of my friends that I love you. Oh, you follow through that whole process. Okay, well, but what yeah, are you willing yeah, to sacrifice? Yeah. Karen, we got. No, we we out when we continue, though. we have three lie detector tests coming up, including yours. Mm -hmm. It's critical in this relationship. Why, what, you both may owe him a real well, large if I apology. Owe him an apology. I LED tester next. Stay right there. You two love each other, right? Yeah. Now, what happens if he passes? Is all this in? Well, this is the thing. I, I, I will leave that part alone, but I still would like to address those issues, the disrespect. Maybe he does things to make you think he's cheating when he's not. Have you thought about that? Right. Right. He does not want to have a happy life. I'll be peaceful. I do want it to be happy, man, but I'm going to be me, man. For your free tickets to see the Bill Cunningham Show live in New York City, go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call 888-710-8425. After all the charges, we finally have the lie detector test results right here. All right. You ready for this, Felina? I'm ready. You're ready? I am ready. Are you ready? Sis, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Because you've said you've seen... I'm ready. You've seen all the... So I need to separate you two. You okay? No, we're fine. Yeah, so your reaction when your brother found out he did your brother been cheating Antoine, on you. are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm good. Let's go to you first, Felina. Okay. Felina, allegations about your cheating and more. 
Felina, have you ever sold your body for money? No. No, and that was the truth. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's the only one that wants some more to come. Number two. Okay. You got two more. Did you have any sexual relations of any type with either of the men that lived with you and Antoine? No. True. You said no. That was a lie. And that was the truth. Thank you. And this was the third question we asked. During your relationship with Antoine, have you had any sexual relations with any other men? And according to my lie detector, as you know, Felina confessed that over the past month, she's been having sex with another man. But the modest fans, but the modest fans, but the modest fans, when well, your man is not even telling you you're beautiful anymore, he's not coming home. Nah, he got text messages from girls telling them that she wanted to do that. Okay, well, we about to get his. Oh, trust me, we about to get his. Let's finish this up. Antoine, you ready for your test results? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't say you passed with flying colors. Antoine, number one. You know, just if I only want. There was an allegation you're raking those leaves for $300. Have you ever sold your body, Antoine, for money? You said no, and that was the truth. Number two, since you and Felina have been together, have you had sexual relations with any other woman? You said no, and that was a lie. See, if you want to talk about me, you no. think that I'm no. no, no, that's the, the, they, they messed I up, they messed up. That's, that the lie detective is not wrong. It ain't wrong. You and you huh? Word is wrong. You've been doing the same thing. I told the truth. He lied. He lied. He lied. He lied. He lied. He lied. No, I'm saying. I was a woman about mine. All you had to do was tell wow. the truth. All right, let's move to number three. We got more evidence. Since you and Felina Antoine have been together, have you had sexual relations with any of her friends or family members? You said no. That was a lie, too. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you What? Yeah, do better. Guess what? I surely can. I'm I'm sure I, I gotta listen to this, better. honey. What you was doing? Please, please tell me. Hold on, Antoine. Yeah, listen to this, honey. I want to hear this. Our experts said on, that man. Antoine has slept with a family member of yours at least 35 oh times. Oh my God! Are you serious? And oh, there's more. There's more. And he has slept with a friend 27 times. Are you? Yeah, face, really? Yeah, really, Antoine? Face, Three man. years? No. Three years? Because you've been cheating on me, though. I cheated on you with one man. So that's enough. That's you enough. You cheated on me with my family and my friends, stupid. Oh, my God. I sit in front of these people's face looking like a damn idiot. Yeah, you came on the show. You Wait a minute. Been, I shouldn't have came on the show to find yeah, out. When we get back home, pack yeah, up. I, I can't do that. What do you have to say? I'm sorry, honey. You was a slam dog. Huh? You was a dog. That's it. How you do that to me, yo? That is so messed up. Sonny, are you That's ready? Crazy. I'm ready. You're sticking with the story. Mm -hmm. You're going down with the ship. You're not getting in a rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> we ask you three questions. Sonny, since you and Karen have been together, have you had any sexual relations with any other woman? No. You said no. That was a lie. <laughs> Since you and Karen have been together, Are you have you had uh, sexual relations with any of your neighbors? You said no. no. That was a lie.
Man, it's a lie, man. It's a lie, man. It's a lie, man. I swear, 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 man. I I Sonny, you're lying. Have you had sexual relations with any of Karen's family members? You said no, and that was a lie too. Are you? Are you? Are you serious? You're a liar. 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 Stay tuned. A lot more coming up. Stay right there. Is your ex trying to ruin your life? If you want to get him or her out of your life for good, maybe we can help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-YOU-ASK-BILL or text guest at 95902. Of course, message and data rates may apply. Let's put the cheese on the cracker. Closed captioning of the Bill Cunningham Show is provided. You're lying, man. Words you lie, yo. You always lying. You pitch it. Been physical with any female I don't believe that. Confessions. Felina confessed that over the past month she's been having sex with another man. And lies. That was a lie, too. Are you serious? If you had sexual relations with any of your neighbors, you said no. no. That was a lie. Couples today stay together or separate based upon these LDTs. Please welcome life coach Tia Brown to the show. Yeah, Tia. Tia Brown. I made a bet off stage with one of our security personnel that Sonny was going to pass this test. I bet him a hot foot, Sonny. I'm buying him now two dips. So, so what do we do with my man Sonny here? What, where does this relationship go? This is a sad scenario. The thing is, nothing that she's heard is surprising. Yeah. You didn't believe that he was being faithful. And more than that, you weren't happy in the relationship. We I have to ask be. ourselves, what does love look like? What does it feel like? And Not she wasn't like feeling loved, and she wasn't receiving love. So even if the lie detector test was wrong, you're not in a healthy situation, so you have to make a change. Yeah. Sonny, is there a little bit of consciousness of guilt? Do you understand that maybe you've done a few things for which you should offer an apology that Karen may accept in this relationship? Can continue no do you have any sense that you want to come clean with I mean, anything i mean I, I i i apologize to her but but i haven't cheated on her i haven't been with no female in no in no sexual kind of way okay. well well i don't care what you believe or not i have so if you haven't I been haven't. with anyone else in addition besides that do you feel any of your other behaviors inappropriate the going out I'm, late at night i mean that that might be inappropriate okay but i never i never i never done anything with a female all right tia let's you know move I mean? to your right okay. because that's the I truth think well, antoine, still a lot of work here. antoine and felina felina is cheating currently but she provides an right. excuse because of the lack of affection from antoine but antoine been with like 35 family members and 27 of her friends. That's, that's crazy. You said with family well, I and think friends. this is a, a big issue. The biggest issue here is being afraid of change. Yes. Felina already knew that he wasn't being faithful. You weren't happy and you didn't trust him, but you stayed because you were scared for something different. Sometimes we keep ourselves in a situation that we know is horrible and unhealthy just because we're scared of what's next. Right. You told him right. that you were going to leave because you weren't happy, and you're saying that you're unhappy too. It's time for what's next. Antoine, are you yeah, good done. with this? Are you ready to move yeah, on, I'm, or you want to? I'm out of debt. Now I mean, I'm gonna call somebody to pick my bags up from my house. You're not gonna be on the porch. You know, another sad thing with this situation. He talked about how much he loved the kids. How could you say you love the kids and love being a father figure and treat her like this? Treat the kids like this. Nah, it They're ain't. an image of me. Ain't none of us wrong. We equal now. No I mean? equal? Yeah, we equal. No I mean? equal? You I mean? cheated, I cheated. My family you know 35 times. It don't friends, matter how many times. Yep. You may have done a parking ticket. You may have been a felony, but they're both wrong. Yeah, they're yeah, they're both wrong. wrong. Yeah. 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 What if we continue the body life? For more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Should Gloria stay out of her brother's relationship?
Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answered and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL right now. When it comes to lying to your loved one, here's the bottom line. Trust is the foundation of every loving relationship, and lies are the enemy of trust. So if you want to build a sturdy house on a rock-solid base, just don't lie in the first place. And better yet, before doing something that you're going to have to lie about later, just don't do it in the first place, Sonny. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. Liar. I didn't lie, man. I didn't lie, man. I didn't lie, man. Go ahead on, sir.